The magnitude 9.0 earthquake that struck Japan on March 11, 2011, is regarded as one of the worst earthquakes in Japan's history. The earthquake triggered a tsunami that devastated cities along the eastern coastline of Japan. One year later, published reports indicate that over 15,000 people died, and over 3,000 are still missing. In cooperation with local authorities, Jehovah's Witnesses arranged to help meet the immediate needs of their fellow worshippers and other victims by establishing three main relief centers and 21 warehouses and relay stations to distribute supplies. Donations were received from fellow witnesses from around the world to support a long-term rebuilding effort. In just two months' time, 250 tons of supplies were distributed to victims. We have very definite feelings as to uh, how our brothers there are affected because we try to have this fellow feeling or empathy so that it may be happening in Japan, but we feel it as if it were happening in our backyard. We have volunteers who have already told us they're willing to go wherever there is a need for help, anywhere in the world. When we first heard of the opportunity to come here, we didn't even have to think twice about it. Immediately, our first thought was we would be privileged and love to come to do what we could to help our brothers and sisters. Everyone makes such an effort to help each other. Um, that's been a wonderful aspect. The world can be a small place, and our brothers and sisters are everywhere, whether it's Japan or Russia or Africa. We are not particularly uh, tied into the boundaries that exist among the nations in general. We view this as one globe and one brotherhood, and wherever there is a need for help, then we give the assistance that's needed right there in that community. First, they came and repaired the walls, and then gave us all the necessary electrical appliances. Our two cars were submerged in the flood as well, and we could no longer use them, so they supplied us with a car. Ayadoi lost her mother and her grandfather during the disaster. They didn't just bring the necessary aid, they really listen to my story. The relief work of Jehovah's Witnesses has a personal focus. They truly show concern for each person. Residents were often surprised to see fully furnished buildings rise from the rubble in a matter of weeks. Those are our brothers and sisters, and that's not just a title we give each other. That's how we feel from the heart. 